Good morning, Rebels. Today is Tuesday, October 25th, 2022, and this is Rebel TV. Good morning, Rebels. My name is Alex Mwanya, and I'm a junior at Savannah. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. E-cigarettes, or vapes, are battery-operated devices that produce vapor instead of smoke. And instead of being packed with tobacco, they have cartridges filled with a liquid that contains flavorings and nicotine. Vapes haven't gone through a health and safety review yet. But that hasn't stopped big companies from making all sorts of unfounded claims and tempting you to try them. Meanwhile, the science is in. Researchers have found harmful ingredients in vapes, including ultrafine particles that can damage the lungs, oils and flavorings that are linked to serious lung disease, volatile organic compounds like benzene, which is found in car exhaust, and poisonous metals like nickel, tin, and lead. And then there's nicotine, which is extremely addictive and especially bad for young people because of the way the brain works. Our brains grow rapidly until we reach our mid-20s. And using nicotine while it's still developing can disturb this process and increase our risk for addiction and mental health issues later in life. This is because nicotine affects synapse formation in the parts of the brain that control attention and learning, which can lead to memory issues, mood disorders, and lower impulse control permanently. Kids who use nicotine in middle and high school are more likely to use cigarettes and other drugs in the future. Young people who vape are four times more likely to go on to smoke cigarettes than those who don't and drooling delivers way more nicotine than smoking. A single jewel pod is equivalent to 20 cigarettes, which makes all of these risks even more dramatic. It could take years before we fully understand how vaping affects our health. It took 120 years for researchers to show how dangerous cigarettes are. But what experts already know should stop us in our tracks. Get ahead of history, protect your brain, Hey, hey seniors. seniors are you actually gonna leave it like this i don't i put it 60 seconds oh i meant like oh know. oh oh yeah oh. Oh. Uh, hey, hey seniors, seniors. <laughs> uh um, we just wanted to remind you about the senior walk-in during the assembly make sure you walk in through the back of the gym and yeah let us show you the way <laughs> Do remember that you get in to the assembly later than the other classes, around five minutes later. So do pay attention for the music. And we'll see you there. Thank you. Shout out to our mighty Marching Rebel band who got the best overall score in Kennedy's field tournament last Saturday. They did this even while it was raining and conditions were worsening. The band will perform again this Saturday at Glover Stadium for the Loera Field Tournament. Great job and good luck band!
Rebels. Join us tonight at 6.30 for our movie night in the quad featuring Coraline. Tickets are just $3 that can be purchased from a link crew leader or from room 900. Snacks and drinks will be available for purchase. See you there. Rebels for Christ meets every Tuesday at lunch in room 21. Join us this Tuesday, October 25th to find out about the history behind Halloween. Bring your friend and bless up. Seniors, interested in going to Cypress College after graduation? Do you want to know what Cypress College has to offer? Join other seniors on the Connect to Cypress field trip on Tuesday, November 1st from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Scan the QR code and then stop by to see Miss Lee for your field trip form. Hey, where's the fried grease? Sorry, I kind of overcooked this. All right, what's going on, Rebels? So today, we are going to be cooking for you guys. We have decided to cook uh, Conway Sada fries. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Arginus. And we have the Walmart Gordon Ramsay here, Jennifer. Woo! Yeah, woo! Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me here. This is really a delightful experience, and I can't wait to see what everybody um, just cooks up for me. Thank you so much. Go ahead and do your thing. So the ingredients we're going to be using for this recipe, it's going to consist of four potatoes, two avocados, one lime, one tomato, one onion, some cilantro, some cheese, tri-tip steak, and we're going to be seasoning with salt and pepper. All right, first, you're gonna wanna cut your steak. Get a piece right here. All right, let's continue. So, as I'm gonna be cutting this, my second cook is gonna be cutting the vegetables. Why are you talking to the cameraman? Why are you talking to the cameraman? You don't talk to the cameraman. I'd like to give a shout out to Dane Shank, my English teacher back from uh, ninth grade. He's a really cool teacher. Get a shot. Next step, you want to season it. Pepper, salt. Add some more on today. Add a little bit more. That's good. All right, so now we're gonna be using a teaspoon of oil. Jump it in there. Alright, we want to put the meat in. Oh my god! Oh, oh my, my god! god. Oh no. It took a while to film this piece. So, so, for hygienic reasons, so this is looking. Oh my god! <laughs> Show that to the camera. <laughs> Homie oh does not know how to pick up <laughs> You gotta keep in mind, it's been there for a week. Of course, it's gonna get bad after a while, bro. You could have put the avocado. Alright, so I kind of have to step in for this. Um, unfortunately, I just really want it to chillax, you know. So, so we're gonna put she's going to be cooking the fries. fries. That's so loud, oh my god. Oh potatoes. my god. So as you can see, they're just going to cook. And once they get like a little bit golden, you're going to want to flip it over. Okay, so now we just finished cooking the meat. Jennifer's taking out the meat. You can take the rest off. It's looking beautiful. It came up pretty good. Oh, it's a walk actually good. Yeah, it is. Swear to God. Swear it is. I'm not trolling. Oh my goodness. Jordan. I didn't do anything. I got that reaction. <laughs> Look, Arginus, what is this piece of potato that you caught? Look how thick this is compared to all the other slices. Yes. Look, Arginus, you're in my shot. Yeah, I'm recording. Now we are going to melt the cheese. Oh, you guys know how to cook. Oh. Um, um, um. Why is it smoking? I forgot to turn it on! Turn it on! Turn it on! Oh my god! So pretty much, this is the carne asada fries. This is our final product. I'd say it went pretty productive. i say we we might have messed up a couple of places. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, cameraman. Go over there. But yeah! The, the kitchen is burning! We need to go! <laughs> don't. Wait! We don't even have forks! Uh, there's forks right here, bro. Oh. Okay. Alright, now our taste tester, Jennifer, is going to be trying this. And uh, you know what? I'll try too. Okay. Mm hmm. That is actually pretty good. That's really good? Mm. Mm. I like Chocolate, that. let's get over here. Check it. It's kind of mid. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks Thank for watching. Right. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Vote for the next Rebel TV cooking show off. Let us know what you guys think. We appreciate yeah. the feedback, good or bad. Goodbye. All right, thank you Thanks. guys. Thanks. Bye guys. Bye. That's all for today, Rebels. Have a trick or treat Tuesday.